Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are looking at multi-measure rests again, believe it or not, because in version 27.2, Finale managed to sneak in an extra option for multi-measure rests. They didn't put it in any of the literature. They didn't tell anybody about it. Um, I just sort of discovered this the other day, so I wanted to point it out. So I'm going to go into the document options under multi-measure rests, and lo and behold, there is a new option in the shape section here called stretch horizontally. Now, if you're familiar with how multi-measure rests work in Finale, I'm just going to go over to a part. You know that these little H bars, that's the middle thing here, um, will expand or shrink depending on the size of the measure, which makes sense most of the time. So if I put less measures on this first system, you'll see that that H bar will actually get wider. And if I put a lot more measures on the system, it'll get much smaller. It's shrinking or expanding with the, uh, the, the width of the actual measure. This is sort of how you want to do it most of the time. Except sometimes, you know, for commercial music in particular, we'd like to see a fixed size H bar that's really short and won't change with the size of the measure. Now, previously, you can kind of fake this by just creating a really short H bar, and I've done that in this file already. This, this other one, number 35, I've edited to be much shorter, and you'll see that it is much shorter here. It's also much shorter on some of the other ones, but obviously it's not fixed size. You can see here, when you have the multi-measure rest spanning the entire system, it's obviously much wider. It's not fixed size. Now you can edit these individually, which is sort of what we've done, and you can go in here and say, okay, uh, start point is 2.5, the end point is negative 2.5, and that will indeed make it shorter, but that's obviously a pain in the neck, and it has to be a different value for every measure that has a different width and everything, so it's not, not definitely not ideal. Um, however, they've added this little extra option, stretch horizontally, which means that if you uncheck it, it does exactly that. It doesn't stretch these h-bars. And whatever size this h-bar is here in the shape selection dialog box, that is the shape. It will never stretch or get wider or thinner uh, with the size of the measure. So just unchecking that option, you can now see that all of these h-bars are indeed a fixed size, um, which is a huge deal. This is You might be curious as to why we'd want this for commercial music. It's just sort of a silly reason, but you know, if you have a long uh, rest like this and the conductor makes a change on the stand, sometimes the players might have to write something in. Well, on a system like this, there's plenty of space for the, the, you know, the player to write something in. They just have to avoid the middle part of this. So uh, it is a silly reason why we'd want these short H bars, but it's uh, definitely something that's done quite often. So anyway, now with that new option, it's simple. You just uncheck that and all of your H bars will be fixed size. So <laughs> Who knew? I had to discover this sort of uh, accidentally in a way the uh, last couple days after I did that review video on 27.2. So now we have the ability to do fixed size H bars. And incidentally, um, you can do this individually on each uh, uh, multi measure rest. So if you just right click and go to multi measure rest edit, the option does exist in the individual multi-measure rest. Whatever option you had set in the document options will be reflected here initially, but you can change that just by unchecking it for this one particular multi-measure rest. So you can get this one if you wanted to to stretch, or if you had it set up the other way where the multi-measure rests are, are set to stretch in the document options, you can override that individually to not stretch on an individual multi-measure rest, if that makes sense. Uh, so there you go. Uh, that's the stretch horizontally option that they added in 27.2. Um, incidentally, I should I should point out that any document that you created previous to 27.2 essentially has this option checked permanently. Um, and when you you know open a file in 27.2 that was created in a previous version, this will be checked. So it's only in 27.2 going forward where you have the option to actually. Um, uncheck that. And I believe they added this for the new jazz document that they created with with Darcy James Argue. Um, I think that he wanted to have this option to have these fixed H bars and he asked them to do this and I believe that they did this. So this is, I believe, the reason why this exists. So all of the default documents that come with Finale that you can use in the Setup Wizard will normally have this checked except for that new uh, handwritten jazz st uh, document style that uh, Darcy created with Finale. So in that file, this is actually unchecked. So, so there you go. That's the new stretch horizontally option in the multi-measure rest for version 27.2. Completely new and unique to 27.2. So there you go. 
All right. Thanks again for watching. My name is Jason. As always, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will see you soon on the next video.